Now I'm going to put my bottom bracket in. So I've never done that before, but that looks, considering everything else I've done, this looks somewhat straightforward. Let me see which camera angle is best for you. So I'm going to put my bottom bracket in. So I'm going to grease the threads like so. And I'm just using some high performance grease that I've got. Oh, fortunately, I made myself some notes. So this is the left side, non-drive side. And it is clockwise to tighten and opposite on the other way. Okay, so now that I've got it all nice and lubed up, I'm going to put this on and tighten it clockwise. Which is what uh, the direction said to do. So I'm following the directions for once. And this is a solid plan. Let's see if it goes on okay. Yeah, okay. Seems like it's going. I guess I'll go till it stops. Okay, yeah. And then this side is the drive side. So I will put it on um, and tighten it reverse threaded counterclockwise. So I'm going to put down the camera so I can do this. All right. So I will put this on and drive it in and tighten it counterclockwise. Which I think, according to my instructions, was correct. Counterclockwise drive side tighten. Yep, okay. Sweet. My notes are paying off. All right, that's working. And then I think I just torque it down next. It says 50 Newton meters on the, the dub. So let me go get my torque wrench. Cool, so now all that's left is I actually have a 12 notch um, bottom bracket um, attachment for my torque wrench set at 50 Newton meters. So um, all I need to do now is put this on here and uh, torque it down to spec and on each side and I'll be good. All right, so let me uh, go the other direction counterclockwise. Boom. Got it. All right. That should do it.